when I got the word that I would be given the word or sharing with you he who is the word I um I've come a long way in my walk with Christ and so he simmered me a lot and and uh but this message in particular was challenging. And before I get into it, I'm gonna take a moment to, to speak to my father. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to simmer my spirit, Lord. I ask you to take us exactly where you want us to go Have me share and say exactly what you want me to say. I don't know who else this message is for, Lord, but I know what it did through me. Father God, we thank you for everything you have already done. See, you're the beginning and the end. So you started with the end this morning. We just have to show up, as the man of God said. We just need to show up. Just be where he has called us to be and you will do the rest. I thank you for being Alpha and Omega, for being the beginning and the end, and for showing us that service will look however you want it to look. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. I honor you this morning, Lord. I exalt you, the Father of all fathers. For your love, for your correction, for your peace, for your long suffering, for your sacrifice, sir. I honor you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'll start over. When he, I got word that I would be ministering on Father's Day. I said, okay, Father, help. See, I always ask for help. This one, I said, I need you. Because I don't even know where to begin. And he said, I want you to share with them. Because you don't know who else is sitting amongst you that may have gone through what you have gone through. And I sat here on Thursday before Bible study. I was here earlier than normal. And I just sat there and I said, God, it's Thursday already. I haven't heard from you. And (laughs) the Holy Spirit, the great teacher, as he would do, he said, you just wait. He said, I have a question for you. And I'm going to pose this question to each of you. I'm not going to ask you to answer it, but I'm going to share with you the question. And he said, what did the word father mean to you when you were growing up? And I sat there, and I'm sure Lady Veronica could probably now think of that moment because she was sitting over there, and she just happened to turn, and I had this expression on my face because I had just heard the question. I'm gonna answer that question for you. It meant selfishness. It meant inability to commit. It meant irresponsible. Incapable of loving. Dishonesty. It meant broken promises. And I can go on on what this word meant so many years ago. I promise you, but by the time we're done with this message, about the time we, because I'm going to speak it, the Lord's going to give it. So it's a team. Mm -hmm. If you want to be delivered, you will be. Uh, Because I'm going to show you the scriptures that you need to lean on to show you what a father is. For those of you that had a great walk with your father, I ask that you walk. Just just, just support us. 
the rest of us. So I said, Father, okay, thank you. As I sit there with tears in my eyes, and I said, Father, I had to relearn what a father should look like. My God. I didn't have that example. I had to learn, relearn. I had to bring it back to remembrance. You see, we were all with the father before we came here. Okay, let me say that again. You are a spirit. You were with the father before you came into time. He doesn't walk in time. We do. So we knew the father. We knew the father. So we knew what a father looked like. And then we came into time. And for those, some of us, our natural father wasn't taught himself. And so here we are. For some of us, raise my hands, these issues lay dormant. They slay silent until something, someone, causes it to rise. And you don't even know you're dealing with these challenges until someone or something, bless you sir, triggers that emotion. My prayer is by the time we're done here, you'll have enough word in you that you'll be able to deal with those emotions. It has to stop here. And for those of you that are men, you might say, well, I have a female speaking to me. Um, but you have a female that, if you're not careful, could be your child. See, if we don't break the chains, if we don't break what occurred to us, they repeat itself. You can't do it in your strength. It was said a couple times already. You're not strong enough. I don't care how many pounds you lift. You're not strong enough. But God is strong enough to take those emotions, to take those feelings, to take those thoughts, to take those things, to take those personalities. Those are personalities. We are spirit beings. Every spirit is a personality. And because we are spirits, we deal with spirits. That's why he said you're not wrestling with flesh and blood. Come on. But with spirits and principalities. What the man of God this morning did was dealt with spirits. Come on. He wasn't dealing with what he was looking at. He was walking in the spirit and listening to the Holy Spirit. And he was speaking. His body, his vessel was being utilized. But he was dealing with the spirits that are laying dormant in some of us. I believe the Father had to use you, sir, first. You tied into my message. God is amazing. God is so amazing. I'm going to get rid of this thing soon and use the other one. Hallelujah. <laughs> So, we're going to use the word of God to replace some of those deep, excuse me, rooted seeds that are either planted in you by you, by your thoughts, or planted by your parents, in particular father. See, for those of us that are females in here, father means a lot of things. Okay, I'm going to say that again. For those of us that are females, the father figure means a lot of things to us. Excuse me. I need a microphone. So 
I'm going to repeat that again. For those of us that are females, the father figure means a lot to us. See, your, your daughters are going to look at you. And as she builds relationships in her life, she really doesn't know what she's doing, but she's looking for someone that has the attributes of her father. So what are you showing her? What is she seeing? 